Hello, so uh, I've been out buying some new kit. I've bought a bunch of these guys. Um, Danfoss, uh, where Eco 2, I think the model actually is. I don't know if it's on here somewhere. Just says Danfoss Eco, but I believe it's the number two model. <clears throat> it's an electronic radiator thermostat as you can see here um, and I did that because well one of my radiator thermostats looks like this if you can see the mounting back here all this should be like these plastic tabs all the way around but there's only two left out of uh, what is it eight or something so it does not actually stay on the radiator anymore so uh, let's have a look at this guy now it's an electronic uh, thermostat, means, and you can configure it via Bluetooth. So you can set up uh, day-night cycles and, and so on. Um, but it's not a smart thermostat, so you can't actually hook it up to something like uh, Google Home Assistant or whatever uh, and control it via that. Uh, at least not out of the box. Although I did find a guy on YouTube, a Russian guy I think, who has figured out the protocol that he uses to communicate over Bluetooth and made a little desktop program to control these uh, from his computer. And you know, with that base code, you could definitely hook this up to pretty much any system you would like. Now in the box, we get the thermostat itself in this little pouch here, Let's get that out. Uh, it's really simple. Um, it's a thermostat, which you can turn on the radiator as you would, but it doesn't actually turn the thermostat itself. It has a little display here where you can see um, it doesn't turn the valve itself. It has a little display here where you set the temperature and then the electronics uh, controls it. Um, also get a user manual. And the main thing in this one, uh, user manual, if it just... Uh, open this up the main thing you need to be aware of is the different mounting types you can use now these AR, ARV, ARVL those are all Danfoss's own um, mounting systems then we got something called an M30, an M28, RTD, Kalefi, Giacomini now the one I have includes the adapters for all of those as far as I am aware, maybe not that one or that one, but it has these adapters. There's also a smaller package which only has two uh, adapters and then you would need to buy extras. So the main thing you need to do is figure out which uh, adapter do I need for my system. Now I've already installed one of them. Um, it's really not that hard to figure out because pretty much only one of the adapters will fit. The adapters are in this uh, little case here. I think you get it open. <clears throat> so here we have the adapters. And like I said, I already installed one. We'll just see how it installs in a little bit, but I believe it should be this one I need. Yes. So um, I need to get a screwdriver, not to actually install this, this is tool free, this is an installation, but to get the old one off. Okay, so now we get to the actual most difficult part of this, getting the old thermostat off here. If you just zoom in, you can see it's held on by this uh, clamp, uh, ring clamp here, and there is a screw here we need to loosen in order to pull this off so let's see if this oh that wasn't on there too bad so and yeah I can already see this is also broken so several taps it has this one has three left <laughs> so that's not great um, but let's see if we can install this new one 
Now, um, this is the mounting adapter. This particular one has this thing on the inside that I need to screw out and stick on first. It's actually screwed in here. So we just remove that. And then this should fit on here, like so. Oh, yeah, it might not actually be the right one I've got here. Oh yeah, it should be. Oh, it's, oh, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> I think it should be like that. And then this remaining piece screws on top of this, hopefully. There we go. I'll just tighten that all the way up till it won't go any further. There. And then we take our thermostat here, and that screws on top of this. Quite simply. And when it's tight, it'll click. So that's just a mechanism so you can adjust where the display is. Uh, if you want it up or down or whatever. Then I also need batteries. It does not come with batteries. Um, yeah, so uh, we need to supply our own AA batteries and to get them installed, there's a tab on the back side here. You push that in and then you can slide off the cover here. And then we stick in our batteries in the compartment here, like so. Stick the cover back on. Let's see where was that supposed to be. Uh, what the hell is the display? I can't see it. <laughs> there it is. So we need to the plastic piece to, needs to be over the display so we can see what's going on. And when that's done. You should hold this down for three seconds. It will calibrate. And as default, you can't quite see that. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the display here. Let's see if we can pick this up. Ah, that's not easy. Can you maybe focus? Okay, yeah, that's really hard to tell, but it does in fact say 21 degrees. Okay, so now we could just use it like this and just adjust it uh, like you would a normal thermostat, but since these are smart thing is, uh, or electronic, what we also can do is hook up to it with the phone or Bluetooth and configure it that way. So Danfoss has made an app that's available on Android and iOS. Uh, you probably can't quite read this on the screen, but it's called Danfoss Eco. Uh, when you open this up, the first time I've already added one of these, but the first time it'll, it'll ask, ask you to add it and run through a little setup routine. But we can go into settings and add another one. And to do this, it says, okay, now it's searching. Then we need to press this button and you see the front turns red. And now it's added and we can give it a name. I want to call this one kitchen. So it's a bit hard to tell <laughs> on the camera, so let's uh, record the phone directly. Now when you've added your stuff, um, yeah, I'm just checking here to see if uh, I can change it to English, but sorry, I can't without changing the language of the phone apparently. Um, yeah, but when we get into this in the 
menu here we can add new thermostats and then it tells you just to push the button and we can go through the thing we just saw on camera once you've added all your thermostats you can select them uh, from the menu they'll pop in and out like every minute or uh, 30 seconds or so they'll become uh, connectables probably to say battery so you have to wait a little bit when you open up the app then you can say up set up your day nighttime rhythm um, and you can split it uh, uh, if you want right now I've set mine to uh, 21.5 degrees uh, when during the day and 18 degrees during the night and you can copy that out to, to all your different thermostats. Uh, you can't make groups or anything, unfortunately. Um, that We need a more advanced product to do that, which we will discuss here at the end. But you can also go on vacation mode and tell that, yeah, from for a few days, just ignore the rhythm. You're just going to go down to 15 degrees or whatever, or lower if you want, for, for a set amount of days. Uh, so this is the vacation mode there. And that's pretty much all you can do in that app. Now, let's. If you wanted more functionality, the option is to get this product instead. That's the Danfoss Ally. You have a gateway and uh, some smart controls, a more advanced app where you can uh, set up uh, stuff like. Uh, I, I do believe it supports something like geofencing. Uh, maybe not directly in the app maybe but you can hook it up to stuff like uh, google home assistant or other smart uh, home systems which will allow you to um, <coughs> do pretty much whatever you want in terms of um, smart control of the heat in your home um, so that's the product you want if you want that functionality out of the box but now at the start of this video I spoke about this Russian dude or well I don't know if he's actually Russian but uh, it seemed to be some Cyrillic characters and stuff on his YouTube channel so I figured somewhere in Eastern Europe maybe Russia uh, he figured out the protocol to connect to these uh, Danfoss eco thermostats and with that knowledge he has made his uh, source uh, the, the codes uh, uh, open source and with that knowledge you could implement that into pretty much whatever you want uh, have a Raspberry Pi or some, or some ESP 32s connect to these thermostats and then through that hook it up to something like uh, Google Home Assistant or whatever smart home control uh, thingy you've got going on that would be possible and it might be something I would look into in the future but uh, for now I'm yeah I'm happy just uh, having these new thermostats um, and just by the fact they can drop the heat during the night or or whatever it, it, it's uh, <laughs> it'll save me a bit of money probably they should also be more accurate than the old ones um, which again means I could save a little bit of money in heat just even if I've just kept at the same temperature all day uh, just because they don't drop the heat as low and go as high above the target as the old thermostats would do uh, I have uh, with the old thermostats, it was pretty much plus minus one degree. These should be closer to within a degree uh, or half a degree plus minus or less uh, in theory. Um, and that should save a little bit of money as well. But uh, yeah, um, that's not much more to say. Uh, they were really easy to install. Um, the app is not very advanced but of course yeah that's partly because they want to sell their more expensive products uh, the product we are looking at here if I wanted uh, the bridge and I could get a starter pack with five thermostats only needed four but five um, then it would cost about three times as much as getting four of these uh, yeah, Danfoss Eco thermostats so um, you know that's quite it, it's getting quite spicy <laughs> if you wanted the uh, Danfoss Ally set up instead and I looked around there is other um, 
other brands, uh, but they are up there as well as with at least twice the price of, of this setup uh, that I've got now. And uh, then, yeah, one of them had like a subscription based thingy going on. I mean, you you want to control your heat? Why the hell do I need a cloud subscription for that? That's just stupid. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna be happy with them. They're easy to install. Uh, once you've got them set up, they should just do the job on their own. And if you are gonna be away for a few days, you just use the vacation mode. And of course, you can use it in in manual mode as well if you want. Uh, just turn off the day uh, day night rhythm thingy and you can just use them like a normal thermostat other than well you'll just read the temperature on the display and it'll do its thing um, yeah and maybe we can do something more interesting with these in the future in terms of in smart enabling them uh, uh, we'll see uh, thanks for now uh, thanks for now and uh, thanks for watching